All I hear is talking, I don't sweat that. If they don't trust me, yeah, I respect that. If she need on the ride, do oh, I bet that? Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. Ooh, I slide for my people, don't forget that. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is J.H. How you doing, post family? Is everybody good? Is everybody cool? Everybody clean? Are you crisp? Are you feeling iry today? Let's talk. You click because of the title. We're going to get into that in a second. But first, I spoke about people getting homes. I spoke about the USDA loans yesterday. There was a couple people had comments about, Jay, these loans are going to get people into debt. These people are going to be unaffordable. Don't buy something you can't afford, blah, blah, blah. You're never this and you're being dead, etc. So I am going to speak in my condescending tone that I usually do that rubs people the wrong way. But I knowingly do that, just so you know. I'm almost 50 years old, so I've been around the block. I may look young, but I'm not. But listen, um, what do we really own? Here's the question. What do we really own? Because technically, we really don't own a thing. Because if you purchase a home and you don't pay taxes on that home, then they take the home from you, right? Right. Even with taxes, if we don't pay taxes, you go to jail, right? Right. You don't own, You don't even have your own money. So here's the thing. Taxes blow your mind. This is an American dream because it's technically a dream. Okay. I get a paycheck, right? Boom. And what do they do? They take taxes out of my paycheck, right? Right. I go to the store with whatever's left. And you know what? When I buy something, what do you see? Taxes again. They take more taxes. So whatever's left is what I have remaining, right? Right. If I buy a car, what am I doing with that car? Paying taxes, right? Right. Keep it going. When you register your car, you got to register and pay taxes. And you got to register your car every couple years or whatever. And when you register your car, you got to pay taxes. If you don't register your car, then you can't technically use your car, right? Right. When you buy gas, what do you do? Pay taxes. We don't own a thing. Even if you think you own it, you don't own a thing. Trust me, because everything that you buy that's inside this home, if you don't pay taxes on the land, they just take it. So technically, we don't own anything. Technically, we're always going to be in some form of debt. You can't just ever stop paying. That's the point. You'll always be paying something. That's facts. Can't debate facts. You will always be paying something, even in retirement. How about that? When you get your pension, the money that you earned already and put to the side when you get that money back, what do you do? Pay taxes. Let's talk. Got that little thing that rubs people the wrong way. I know it. I know it. Almost 50, though. I can get away with it. Postal restructuring. I like this. I don't like what's said in here, but I like this for a reason. Listen. Los Angeles PNDC stations. Santa Monica, Inglewood, North Hollywood, and LANDC, and the LAISC will all be impacted by Postmaster General Louis DeJoy's restructuring of the Postal Service. Y'all see, I'm reading without my glasses, right? If I screw up, <laughs> so I watch me start screwing up. Maintenance, motor vehicle, and clerk members will feel the changes of this PMG is making to the U.S. Postal Service. They almost, they're only talking about underneath the APWU, but carriers as well, rural carriers as well. Truth. Mail handlers, they're all. The local, this local, like so many others in the country, will be forced to deal with schedule changes. You see it abolishments it's happening reversion of jobs which means if this was your job your job duty they're gonna add more to it or change your job duties and yes accessing which is involuntary reassignment out of sections crafts and installations the LAPNDC is being converted into a LPC 
a local processing center, and LANDC has been converted into a regional national distribution center. There is no determination as of yet if some of our stations and branches will be consolidated into what PMG calls SNDC. But it is coming. The Santa Clarita plant is being converted into a mega plant that will absorb many operations from the north, west, and east of that plant. As I write this report to you, our local has not yet been notified of any withholdings and excessings notification from the area regional level. However, we are preparing for the impacts we expect by conducting training on the critical provisions in the contract under Article 12, Principle of Seniority and Reassignments. Thank you. On behalf of the local union, officers, blah, blah, blah. No, we aren't perfect, but our goal and intent are to work at it. Again, thank you. Also, if you've made it this far, we're getting a COLA increase. That's APWU. Yes, that includes clerks. It's going to uh, whatever's March 9th, whenever you're watching this, 2024, it'll show up in your paychecks dated March 29th for pay period seven. Listen, the reason that I think this is good, not good for us, but it is good that the union, this specific one, and I'm assuming that this is a nationwide thing, is being transparent. They're being transparent. They're letting people know in advance what's going on. And this is what everybody, every other union, every other shop steward, whoever's watching this. I know I rub all of you the wrong way. Ask me if I care. Go ahead, I'm waiting. I don't. This is what you need to be doing because, and I shouldn't be passing this information out. It should be you giving it to your locals. This is, I, I can't emphasize this enough. This is what, regardless of whether or not the union members want to hear this information, it shouldn't be snuck up on them. It shouldn't be just a random thing that just happens. I know things happen at this place, but when something like this is said and it's pushed out there and for the union members that are listening or reading their letters or whatever it is, at least they know what the next steps are the next steps in their personal lives because people don't come to this building to these buildings because they like it they come there because they're working to get money for their personal lives right so whatever impact of whatever is going on at this place that they go to to work is going to affect them personally if they have children if all the things that go around each individual you can't cater to each individual, but at least you can give everyone information. That way, each individual can make a conscious and educated decision on how to move forward with whatever they want to do for their personal lives so that they don't have to go to sleep at night wondering if the building that they went to this week is going to be opened next week preparation transparency it is this is why i think this is honestly good because it shouldn't be coming some random dude just talking about things that everybody nationwide is sending me or things that you know it shouldn't be this is this is what they pay for and i'm very happy that they did this honestly and regardless of what the implications are in it it's good it's good it's good because when we just saw that whole thing with people sitting in the room, that, that standby room, I'm sure that caught people by off guard. Like, hey, nothing for you to do this week. You're going to have to sit in the room. What? Can you fathom that? Just having to sit? Somebody that's never experienced that before has to sit in a standby room for 30 days and they don't know anything about it. They've never heard anything about it. But putting this information out there at that point, I hear it and I say, hey man, let me ask you something. What happens if this blah, 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 blah? Well, because you're lowering the seniority list, this is what could possibly happen. It gives them a chance 
to find out what's going to happen and what their options are. So being that you're down on the bottom of the list, there's a chance A, they might let, you know, ask, access you or B, because you're right there on the borderline, they might sit you in a standby room because of this, that, this, and the third. Or C, you might have to get trained on a blah, 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 so you could do that. You've let me know now what I can possibly, what my options are. That's it. You just let people know what their options are. And that is appreciated. There needs to be more of this. And you know, as much as I talk about every craft, because that's that's kind of my thing. I just talk. I love all of you. Honestly, I really do. It just, Mr. P told me that controversy gets views. So if you look at my earlier videos, I never did this. But I love all of you guys, but I have to be like this because this is what makes you keep watching. But seriously, um, back to the JH guy. Seriously, what lie was I telling? Okay, yeah. If you have the option to know what's going on, wouldn't you want to know what's going on? Wouldn't you want to? I appreciate that this union is actually putting stuff out on their website, looking for your feedback and making it open for people to hear. Hey man, this is what I think. That doesn't necessarily mean it's all gonna get done. Let me be clear. But you now feel like you have a voice. I can't log into, I can't even read nothing on a mail handler website. Can't, you gotta be a member. And then the people that I have that are friends that are going there, there's nothing like that. They give old articles and everything. Update your stuff. Same thing with the rural carriers. Keep the open line of communication open. And I'm not telling unions what to do. Don't get it misconstrued because it's not my thing. But this is what members want to translate to you. And apparently APWU knows this. Because look at where they were a year and a half ago and look at what they're at least attempting to do today. And I appreciate that. Honestly, I do. Because obviously they're the biggest and it affects so many different crafts. So again, if you didn't know, just so I could put that out there, maintenance is on the APWU, MVS underneath the APWU. The only ones that are not mail handlers and the carriers, pretty much. Mail handlers, carriers, supervisors, etc. So just everybody else is underneath APWU. So nobody in the comment section be like, well, what about the murder bird birds? And what about the murder bird? APWU pretty much handles everybody, okay? But this is, I, I like this. Jay, where can I find that article? Uh, I, it was, um, yeah, it's, um, I wish I could, uh, I can, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know, because I, I got to watch what everything I put on here. and Everything is blocked and banned. But please discuss things. Encourage versus discourage, okay? Encourage versus discourage. Fuss and fight, argue if you want to down there. Be respectful. Please be respectful with each other. We all have open opinions, every one of us. I've read somebody's comment about, oh, we need to get rid of women altogether. And that's where the money is being wasted. I left your comment up there if you're still watching. I hope you take it down because they're going to eat you alive, man. There's no need for that. That's almost a prejudice statement, man. I'm surprised they, they didn't ban you or block your stuff. But I said I'm not taking anybody's stuff down. Just be respectful. Okay, be respectful. But, you know... You... <laughs> Oh, man, I love you guys, regardless of, and you know, is almost the best in the world. I am. I just talking shit to rub people, rub them the wrong way. This is JH. We'll chat. Unexpected expenses stressing you out? Get the money you need now with Loans for Feds, a program designed specifically for federal employees. Bad credit is not a problem. Application is fast and easy with same-day approvals. Apply now.